Have you ever stopped to think about what really contributes to whether or not we are healthy? Generally, when we think about health, we think about whether a person smokes, how much they exercise, and what they eat. Add to that how much alcohol they drink, and you have the primary modifiable behavior patterns that lead to most of the chronic diseases and premature deaths in the U.S. Statistically, our behavior patterns are the most significant contributors to our health. So if this is true, then health must be a personal choice, right? Let's come back to that question in just a minute. Excellent work led by Adrian Dominguez at the Spokane Regional Health District has identified health predictors in Spokane, which are consistently seen across the U.S. Their research found that those with less education are more likely to live in poverty, smoke, engage in binge drinking, be physically inactive, have diabetes, be obese, have cardiovascular disease, and experience poor mental health. Yet, they are also less likely to have access to health care. Additionally, higher proportions of minorities live in poverty, experience food insecurity, and have higher mortality rates. In Spokane, there's an almost 18-year life expectancy gap between some of our richest and our poorest neighborhoods, and that gap appears to be widening. And what is even more disturbing is most of these findings have significant negative generational implications. So let's go back to the original question. What really contributes to whether or not someone is healthy? Lifestyle choices do seem to be the primary contributor to our overall health, but that just isn't the whole answer. The choices each of us make every single day about our behavior, which directly impacts our health, are often shaped by the choices that we have available. What appears to be inescapable is that maybe the most powerful and significant predictor of health is socioeconomic status. Now, not all people are gonna have the same opportunities in life, but inequality, both social and political, is bad for our health. If we as a community claim to truly love our neighbors and care about humanity, then we must work to ensure that all people have an equal opportunity to reach their full potential for health.